Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the Excel library that's part of Native Edge for jQuery product. The Excel library allows you to create an Excel object in memory and you can export that to an Excel file onto the client. So what I have in front of me is an MVC project inside of Visual Studio 2010 and uh, I have pre-configured my model data to bring in customer information and then uh, have a grid in my view that uses that data and displays it inside of it. So if you run this application now, you can see that at runtime it's a typical ASP.NET MVC application and uh, what's different here is that we have a grid displaced inside of our index view and it's pulling our customer information and displaying it here. So if I go back uh, into my Visual Studio, to kind of give you a quick background what's happening behind the scenes is that we have Northwind as an embedded database inside of our application and I'm um, using Entity Framework to create a model on top of uh, the database and then in our models we have a customer model class and what we have in here is a static method which is get customer list what it does is it basically goes through the Northwind entities grabs all the customers and passes it as I queryable to the method call. So in our controller, what we're doing is essentially we're calling that method, uh, the static method get customer list in the models, and uh, passing that on to the grid, and the grid connects to the customer information that's coming from the database. And if you go back to our view, the index view. Uh, we have the grid defined uh, within our Vazor syntax and we're setting up some attributes and defining the column definitions by hand uh, and calling that uh, action method customer list in our controller which basically grabs data from the model and passes it onto the grid. And then finally we call data bind and render the grid. So again if you take a look at it runtime or real quick again we have the grid and uh, again the data is being displayed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the Excel library and uh, we're going to add a button at the bottom of this grid and when you click on the button the um, behind the scenes in our controller we're going to create a Excel object in memory and pass it on as an Excel file onto the client. Let me close that and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a button that's uh, going to be an action button so I'm going to copy some code uh, from my notepad and place it in here so that the button displays underneath the grid and what this is it's basically uh, creating a begin form uh, setting up our action method which is export data to Excel this is the method we're going to define in our controller class and we're going to use the default home controller and the form uh, method is going to be the post and in here we have an input type submit uh, which is has a value of export data to Excel so pretty standard pretty simple um, and then let's come to our controller and um, uncomment this code. So in here we have that export data to Excel um, method which is going to be called whenever, whenever the user clicks on that button. And what we're doing here is first of all we're grabbing the same data as we passed on to the grid. So we have the get customer list which is define a model and that's what we do when our grid calls uh, the, the, the get customer or customer list method to grab its data. And we're doing the same exact thing here to um, get our I queryable for the customers. And we're going to use this list to basically um, iterate through it and export it to an Excel document. Next, what we do is we start using the Excel library object model to create our workbook and then add worksheet to it. So we add a workbook and then we create a worksheet and then we set up some style for our exported grid. So we set up the style depending on the however you want to set it up. So we set the back color, for color and uh, you can do all the styling that you want using the API here. Then we create some column headers in our uh, Excel. So we grab the first, uh, first cell and we start setting up our column definition just like we do for the grid and we know there are five columns that we want to export, export from the data. Next what we do is we do the same thing now uh, with the columns but we set the width of those columns. So we have a preset width for the different data columns that we want to export. 
Next, we come down here, and what we're doing here is uh, using the for each to go through each and every customer that's in our model and um, assigning the cell value uh, to a specific uh, field uh, in that customer object. And we're iterating on the row uh, collection. So we're going through different rows and setting up the value for those cells. So we have the table being created in memory and uh, in, within our worksheet. Next, once we have everything set up, all we have to do is take that uh, workbook and export that uh, uh, or pass it as a stream in our response. So we work with our response object. First of all, we clear everything, set the content type to be application, um, and basically do an attachment of the Excel file that we have. So we're going to call the uh, file name that's been attached to the grid data.xls. And uh, we set the response, uh, the format to be Excel 97 to 2003, uh, and write that, um, write everything in the response or output stream. So it takes everything that we created, the um, the styles, the column headers, the rows, and everything, and it's going to write all the information to the response stream by calling this method save. And then finally, we reach just end the response here. So we run it again, and this time. Um, with the grid, you also see the button at the bottom here. We created in the view, and when I click here, it's going to go through that uh, method or action call, iterate through our data, create an Excel object, and write to a response stream. And you can see at the bottom, we get the open, save, cancel dialog. If I click open, it's going to use the uh, client Excel uh, install and open up that data in an Excel file, as you can see here. So in this quick video, you saw um, you can use Excel library in your MVC projects to create a workbook or worksheet object in memory and export that to an Excel file onto the client. Thanks for watching. Infragistics on the web at infragistics.com.